previously on The Walking Dead. We're back, guys, with The Walking Dead. I know who you are. Episode 2, Season 1. I got another fucking one for you. I'd say what I need to do, though, is turn down the volume. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. When you got it, boss. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We kick his ass. That's sea bass. Gotta kick his ass. Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. So there we go. That was what happened in the last episode. And don't forget, I still hate that cunt. The, the guy just, you know, the guy just saw, the old dude, the one who punched me in the face. He's going to die. But bef but before we continue, just quickly turn down a couple of settings. No, yeah. There we go. A for apply. Let's get back into the mood. So here we go, guys. Here we go, to the fans. It's exciting. There he is. With an axe. Three months later. Yeah. Do that. Who the fuck's hey, he? What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Mm. We'll manage. We'll Give him a bit of hope. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. Lily knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor end. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Got a wife and son to look out for. And I just think for a second, man. Group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Oh, he's a Seems cunt. Like he's got That's a what he is. You in particular. That Kenny. Oh, I have no idea. He thinks I'm a danger to the group and Clementine. I think he's the one putting us in danger. The way Lily worries about his health, I wouldn't be surprised if she's been skimming rations for him. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Yeah, he did. Knock me flat. I'm gonna get him back for that. You bastard. Get the bird, mate. Go on. Shoot it. Shoot it! Take the shot. We need anything we can get at this point. Tell you, you do it really, mate. I would've done it. And you missed. Shit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! Oh, hi.
Go on, son. You can do it. Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? What the hell happened? Mr. Parker said we should stay off the streets. We were trying to be careful, but... Uh... Lee, this is fucked up. We've gotta help. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Special Just forces. Just see if you yeah. can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Uh, I'll try, man. Get him out of there. Oh, I'm gonna try. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please. Hurry. Oh. Here we go. Here comes oh, trouble. Lee, this trap has been altered. There's no release latch. Please, get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Come on. I'm going to have to chop it off. Oh, God. Please, do something. No, no, no. Try the trap again. Anything, please. Man, I'm sorry, but your foot is coming. Try to get the Oh. <laughs> oh, mate. Oh, let's go, let's oh, go. Oh, did you see the bone? Oh, look at his face. Uh, Lee, it has to be now. Oh, give it one more. Holy shit. Shit, is he? He passed out. Alive, grab him and let's go. Come on, come on, go, go, go. Oh, that leg. Behind you, Travis. Come on, come on, we gotta move. <laughs> run, mate, run. Oh, don't do Frodo and fall on the floor. Yeah. Start off with a bang. Damn. All right. Let's see what's going on at the old motel. Oh, here he is. There's the bastard. Can't stand him. Me and him have some deep problems throughout these series. You right, come here. Ducky, big duck, you can go piss off. No, actually, I'm gonna flirt with her so big big boy over there will get all moody. Doesn't like it, does he? Look at him. Got a bit of a bogey. There we go. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! My God. We got food! What happened? Oh, what's going on? I don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee. I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group. 
right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <laughs> Welcome to the family, kid. <laughs> come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know... You like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, Don't worry, Kenny, I didn't I'm ask on your to side. Leave this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. Kenny's right. Yeah, you're in charge of the food and the schedules, but you're not in charge of people's lives. Yes, really? mate. You weren't there. Lee made a choice. End of story. Look, once Katcha patches that guy up, you can kick him out of here. Send him out on their own. I couldn't care less. But they at least deserve a fighting chance against the walkers. And for the record, Kenny wanted to leave those people behind. If Kenny would pull his head out of his ass for five seconds, he'd realize that I make these decisions to protect his family. We simply don't have enough food. I don't see any of you uh, stepping up want, to make mate? the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? She looks like she's got balls, mate. She's ugly. And mate, I'm going to fuck you up. You know what? If you think I'm doing such a shitty job, then you do it. That's huh. all the food we have for today. You decide who gets to eat. Lynn. No, I'm serious. Pick up that food and start handing it out. You see how it feels to not have enough food for everyone. Fine. Clementine's getting food. Ducky's getting food. Yeah, we've got four bits of food, right? I'm gonna say Ducky, Clementine, myself, <laughs> and um, uh, definitely not him on the left. Alright, just hand these food out. Let's see how this guy's doing there. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Yeah, sure. Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this. Sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Alright. Who do you reckon we should hand this food to? Definitely Clementine. Definitely Ducky. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Um, I don't have time right Sorry, now. Sorry, Hannah. I don't have time. That was my favorite hat. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. That's right. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. See what he knows. Hey, is ben. my friend going to make it? I don't know. But Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. So who are you people? Our group's gonna want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... when everything happened. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, um... Uh, I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know. 
something. Man, I can tell you're gonna be useless. You'll be prepared next time. Next time? Yeah. Nah, Relax. you're not having any food. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. Clem, have some food. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Give her the beef jerky. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. No, he can yeah, get... why don't we not get some food? Piss off, Ducky. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> hey, Duck. Okay. I'm out of little food. Um, you don't deserve to crack in cheese and give you the half apple. Here. Oh, heck yes. Is there peanut butter? Peanut butter with apple? You think, duck? No, probably not. Exactly. You one sick fuck. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Lily has me handing out the food. Ugh, that can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food. Even though that guy can be a real dick No, sometimes. he's not getting any food. On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you. If he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, Carly. Nah, yeah, she's right. Oh, I need the ride. I need to get on that ride. Hey, Kenny, mate, have some cheese. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. I'm not sure that's the best idea. You gave Glenn your blessing when he left. Just asking you respect my choice as well. Yeah, but he was leaving to find his friends. Your family's right here. Well, here isn't doing us any good. You should think about coming with us, you and Clem. Yeah, I'm gonna go with you, mate. Coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. I have a cracker. Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. Just one left. Save the piece for someone else. Keep the last piece for yourself. Oh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. I'm give it to your wife, mate. She's hot. But then if you want to get in her pants... How's it going, Lee? From up here, it looks like you're playing favorites. Yeah, what the fuck do you want? Alright, let's have a little chat with her. Let's see what she wants me to do with the last piece. Let's talk about you and talk Kenny. about you and Kenny. What about us? They're arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. You know people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. Yeah, well, Keep you know what? Out. I'm not giving you Fine. any food. Kenny's wife, where are you? <laughs> don't know her name. Here we go, here she here, is. Eat something. <sighs> Why don't you give it to Doc? I'm a little busy with your mess right now. I need space, Lee. Fine. She ain't getting any. She's not getting shit. I'll get to the fit woman then. Don't know that other guy. Want something to eat? Here. Have Lee? a cracker. How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? I'm okay. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly.
Yeah, uh, give it to Billy Boy. Want something to eat? Go on, mate. Camp got raided probably means you haven't eaten in a while. I am really hungry. Thanks. Here we go. Here comes the moose. She's gonna have a go at me now, isn't she? Not such an easy job, is it? I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. On the old RV? I, I am some people gonna aren't go with you, can I? You're out! What happened to my food? Here we go. There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. Alright, guys, that's going to be it for now. Next time, we're going to kill that guy. See you guys in the next one. Just love.